Hello everyone, and welcome to Provis Gaming. It's the start of July, and I think it's time to start up another vlog and talk about the status of my channel. I think I might call these Provlogs from now on. Does that sound a little bit like Klingon? Provlog. Kinda. That's not a bad thing though, right? Of course not. As will always be the case in my vlogs, this is basically my chance to talk to my viewers on a more personal level, talk a bit about my life and how that's going to be affecting the channel. We're not going to do a Q&A session today, uh, but if you want to leave questions and comments in the section below, those are always more than welcome, and I'll get to them next time. So, I am sick as a dog. <coughs> you can't, uh, can't tell my voice is a little bit messed up, but uh, nothing really could dampen my mood because this has been a very big and very good week for me. I'm seeing a lot of investment out of my company into my career, kind of uh, some long-term kind of investments, like they want to keep me around for a few years. I can't really talk about it that much just due to the nature of my work, but it's a good thing. Especially in an industry that's been downsizing a lot lately, so this gives me some hope that I'm going to be financially secure for at least a few more years. And that, of course, is really important to me now because the biggest announcement that I have is that I am now an engaged man. <laughs> oh, big mistake. No, I don't want to do that again. Yes, some of you guys might have met Yali on my date night special. Yeah, we're going to get married now. So, uh, you know, got a, planned out a special date, and I got down on one knee, and she said yes, and I'm pretty much the happiest guy ever. So, we probably won't get married for like another year or so, but, uh, you know, it's in the works at this point. So that's pretty awesome. Now, what does that mean exactly for the state of the channel? Well, as I said, it means probably a few more date night videos, just because I'm obsessing over Enyali right now. We might branch out to eventually trying out some more uh, classic cooperative uh, games like Minecraft or something else. But for the short term, I hate to say that this engagement means I probably will be outputting less videos per week. I don't intend on ignoring you guys, I promise you that. By any stretch of the imagination, I won't be ignoring this channel. But uh, it does mean a lot of my evenings over the next few months will be spent on Skype planning out a wedding instead of recording. I do hope you guys can forgive me if there just isn't enough content to meet your needs. I'll do the best I can, but at the end of the day, this channel is uh, is still very much a fun hobby for me, and I do not intend on stopping anytime soon. It's just going to be a little less predictable. Moving away from my personal life, there are a few things I'd like to float by you guys about this channel and what I'm thinking of doing over the next few weeks. Firstly, I need a new series. Prison Architect is finished. Among the Sleep is done and over with. I need something else to occupy some time. I generally like to have two series going on at any given time, uh, one of them most of the time being RuneScape. But any suggestions you guys have for me would be awesome. I do read all your comments, even if I don't reply too often, and I definitely take your feedback into account. Now, I could always try to start up a new indie series, uh, like Prison Architect or Banished, you know, examples of what I could do would be like FTL, Advanced Edition, Don't Starve, Democracy 3, which are all more strategy themed. Alternatively, I could start up a Let's Play, where I'm playing mostly for the story rather than the challenge, just like I was for Among the Sleep. By that, I'm thinking something more along the line of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, or L.A. Noir, or The Walking Dead, etc. Heck, I've even got a bunch of games in my Steam library that I picked up during the summer sales that I don't really know anything about. I'm talking games like Velvet Assassin, Realms of the Haunting, Clockwork Tales, DLC Quest, and more. I know that some people have also been suggesting trying out Dota 2 and League of Legends and the like, so that that's another genre to play with. You never know. And I think a lot of this decision will... Well, I mean, first it's going to depend a lot on your feedback and what I'm in the mood to play, but also it's going to depend on the expected length of the series. And I guess that's one thing I really could use some feedback from you guys. How long do you generally follow a series? RuneScape has lasted over 60 episodes, whereas a series like Banished started to fizzle out by about a dozen. I get that a lot of it has to do with actually keeping the content interesting, but at the same time, a lot of people might feel intimidated trying to chew through a 30-part series. So comment on that, please. Let me know what you like. The last thing that I want to talk about is RuneScape, since that's the series that seems to get the most viewer engagement. Some of you already know that I have a friend chat box open. You can find it under my character name, Norik Pravis. That's sometimes a pretty good way to get a hold of me, since I tend to leave friend chat open more often than general or private chat. I've also been getting some suggestions that maybe I ought to try starting up a clan for my viewers, which is a pretty interesting idea. Could be fun, could be a lot of work, 
I'm interested in engaging your reaction. See if a large number of you guys are interested in that. The other thing that has been repeatedly suggested is recording some dungeoneering runs with my viewers and chatting via Skype. You know, personally though, I would think that Ventrio or Mumble is a lot more effective than Skype, but it's still something to consider. I'll admit, while this is a fantastic idea, I'm dragging my feet a little bit because I know it opens up some logistical issues. Namely, how to guarantee good, consistent audio quality from my guests. How would I pick someone out from the crowd without hurting someone else's feelings, etc. It gets complicated fast. I'm toying with the idea, I'm trying to think of how I can make good videos out of something like that. I think it would be fun, but it's not something that will happen soon, if at all. That said though, I always am uh, appreciating that you guys are making suggestions, definitely keep them coming. Well, I think that about wraps things up for this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be paying close, close attention to the comments you've made on this video, so hit me up. While you're at it, give that like button a high five. And if for whatever reason you're new to this channel and found my vlog first, of all things, be sure to subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.